Okay, geometry, 7-2 similar polygons. There's two, uh, two rules for similarity, okay? And um, rule number one, corresponding angles must be congruent. Okay, so the very first test, the corresponding angles of whatever shapes we're going to look at have to be congruent. The second test has to do with the sides, and that means, or that is, the corresponding sides, ing, are proportional. And remember that a proportion is just a comparison of two fractions. And so at its basic uh, at its basic form, let's take two triangles. Triangle one is going to be ABC and triangle two is going to be DEF. Now I'm going to tell you that triangle ABC is similar. Okay, similar is just going to be one part of the equal sign in a little squiggly. It's going to be similar to DEF. And I want you to list everything that's true about the sides and angles. And so corresponding means A is going to correspond with D. B is going to correspond with E, and C is going to correspond with F. So that means angle A has to be congruent to angle D. Angle B has to be congruent to angle E. And that also means that angle C has to be congruent to angle F. Again, you are given the statement that those two triangles are congruent, so those corresponding angles, must, or excuse me, that those two triangles were similar, so those corresponding angles have to be congruent. Now we need to set up a proportion for the sides. Okay, so again, I can look at it just by my, my statement right here, and I can go with side AB has to be proportional to side, oh, let me look there, to DE. I don't want to put lines on it like that. I'm going to say AB compares to DE. Then I'm going to go to the next side, which is going to be BC is going to compare to EF. And then my last one is going to be CA, which is going to compare to FD. Again, those are the three proportions set up by the three sides. So now let's test for some similarity. Okay, so to test this, I've set up two triangles, ABC and DEF. And so I want to test to see if these are similar. I do know that I have two angles equal in each one of them, which means the third angle has to be equal. Because if two angles in a triangle are corresponding angles are congruent to each other, then the third one also has to be. Okay, so now I want to set up a proportion to see if these sides, um, if these are going to be, and I have forgotten a length somewhere. Where did I forget? Uh, I, oh, this should be 15, excuse me. Okay, so let's find my proportional sides right now. Um, AB, because it's between the single and the double uh, angle arcs, is going to correspond to DE. And then CB 
is going to correspond to Fe. And then our remaining sides will correspond. Again, how I find that is I look, see my yellow lines at angle B. There's two angle marks right here. And there's a single angle mark down here. So over here, there's the double, there's the single. So 12.5 is going to compare to 10. And then 11.5 is going to compare to, where's my green one, 9.2. And then that leaves my final one as 15. And it's going to compare to 12. Notice that all of the numerators are from the same triangle. All of the denominators are from the same triangle. And that's the way it has to be. Okay, so now what we want to do, there's, there's a couple of different things we could do here. We could cross multiply and see if those are all equal. Or if you want to just hit out your calculator real quick, um, we can take 12.5 and divide it by 10. Obviously that's going to be 1.25. And then we're going to take 11.5 and divide it by 9.2. And that is 1.25. And then we're going to take 15 and divide it by 12. That is also 1.25. Which means that triangle ABC is similar to D, to triangle D, E, F. So that's proof for similarity. Okay, and that should just about do it. Uh, explaining the two rules of similarity, corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional. And then in that last example, uh, proving that those two were similar. So about seven and a half minutes, and that is all.